So maybe you've been playing Subnautica Below Zero for a little while and you're still trying to find some of the Altera tech sites. After all, these are small. These are not full size bases, but they do have occasional little things like PDAs and unlocks that you might need. Well, today in this guide, I'm going to show you how to find all of the Altera tech sites. Now, as typical with videos of this style, there will be spoilers. So fair warning, spoilers ahead. If you don't want spoilers, just go play the game. So first up, let's look at the two tech sites in the Arctic Kelp Forest. Now, the first of these, and one of the easiest things to find in the game, is the emergency supply cache, because as you get close enough, a beacon will pop up and make it easy to find it. But the easy way to find it is to either go directly right as you jump into the water at the beginning of the game and follow along the wall, or just kind of head towards the right or western area as you progress past doing some stuff with your drop pod and eventually you will get again a beacon once you get close enough for it the other site in the arctic kelp forest is actually on the opposite end so you can kind of go towards the left or the eastern side following along the wall but it's not as close to the wall and you won't get a beacon so one easy way to do this is to find the large blade beak talon looking iceberg and use it as a standpoint to start your search from from the back end of this large iceberg you're just going to dive into the water and head along kind of in the direction i'm showing here and you're just going to keep your eyes peeled for a large claw machine like you see in the little games you know to pick up a random toy or the occasional smartphone prize now, one landmark to look for in this area is the large brinicle areas. Now, you'll see some brinicles that are spread out, but you'll also see these that are close and tight together, along with some of the little ice fruit plants. And right past this group, where it's all tightly packed together, you'll see the tech site with the large claw machine game. So that's it for the Arctic Kelp Forest. Now let's move on to the Twisty Bridges. Once again, head to the large Talon Blade Beak looking iceberg. And the first tech site is actually right next to it. It is a floating platform. And if you are doing this by swimming underwater, you can also find it by looking for the electrical sparking from the cable. This is a lot easier to see at night, but you can also see it during the day once you are close enough. The next tech site is actually very easy to find once you find the floating platform because it is directly beneath it in the water. Just dive straight down, you'll see the other half of the broken power cable along with a foundation and some storage crates. The second twisty tech site is actually pretty easy to see once you get close enough to it because it's got just an eye connector with a hatch and a window and it's actually very reflective especially during daytime you'll also have of course pda a data box to help light the way and it is actually close to a spot where you'll find a pair of pdas next to typically a scan for one of the pieces of the sea truck now twisty tech site number three is tucked back a little bit more than the other two in this little region but it's actually not that hard to find it's actually right next to one of the little pathways through which you followed the SOS lighting for the beginning with Sanctuary Zero, but you can also look for this large loop around, loop the loop of the twisty bridges up higher. Once you find this, just go straight down. You'll find the tech site below. And that leaves only one more that is technically in the twisty bridges biome, and that is the exterior grow bed platform where you actually have two foundations with a bunch of the exterior grow beds and a couple of things you can pick up. This one's actually easy to find if you head towards the west following the intersection between the thermal spires and the twisty bridges. It is a bit further out than the other ones were, but it will be easy enough to find because it's a larger one overall. Now let's move on to Delta Island, which is also an easier set to find. Now the Rocket Island is actually pretty easy to find. Once you have some good clear weather, you can see it in the distance. It's the only place where there's a big radar tower on top of it. So it's pretty easy to find. But of course, if you just keep going past the twisty bridges as you find the thermal spires, you keep going, you will get a beacon that activates for the Delta Station dock. 
And while it's not much, the Delta Station dock is a tech site because you do get some scans and you have some pickups here. Now this next one is actually easy to find, but also easy to miss depending on how you're looking around as you're going up the mountainside to get to Delta Station. This tech site is actually in the last cave you pass through going up towards Delta Station. So if you reach Delta Station without finding it, all you gotta do is turn around, head back into the cave and go straight. You'll see it right ahead of you. So now for the remaining tech sites, we're gonna be heading into the Glacial Basin and the Arctic Spire. So everything else is going to be land-based and will require, of course, you to be prepared for that. First though, the easiest one to get to is going to be the Phi Robotics Dock. This is one you can find on the Altera Facilities map and is actually visible on the map. It is basically almost due west from Delta Station Dock. You will just end up coming up a little bit to the north and you'll find it there just like you do with Delta Station Dock. Phi Robotics Dock is also going to be pretty easy to notice if you're going along the surface because, hey, there's a big radio tower thing there. The next tech site is located a bit further into the glacial basin. This is definitely one you want to be prepared for because it's going to be a lengthier trip, but it's actually very close to the frozen Leviathan base. Now, if you need to know the full details on how to get there, you can always check out one of my other videos, but the quick and dirty is to follow the map you scan in, of course, Phi Robotics base itself. You can either go to the left or to the right of Phi Robotics Base. Both ways, you'll end up having to swim a bit. You'll have to walk a good bit, but eventually it will lead around to the same spot. Now it's time to head into the Arctic Spires. And first up, you're going to have to make sure you have extended the bridge already so you can actually get into the Arctic Spires. To extend the bridge, you have to replace the hydraulic fluid. Just come here, scan it, go make some, come back, put in and hit the extend button. Now, as you pass the bridge, you will find there are three pathways. The left two trunks are the same path. You have then the middle path and you have the rightmost path. Taking the left path, you will find your way going through a little ravine. There are light sticks, so just follow them. And at the end of the path, you will come across Thumper Tech Site 1. Back at the bridge, if you take the rightmost path, then you will go up and around through a cave and as you exit the cave, keep to the right. There will be a ledge that you can walk up on and right there to your left, you'll find the Thumper Tech Site 2. This net site is easy to find if you follow the path coming from Thumper 2 location. Heading down and then to the right past where you turned for Thumper 2, you will go over a frozen river section. As you pass the frozen river, you're going to follow to the left and there's a pathway through the cliff walls. As you come into this area with the icicles, follow the pathway to the right past these ore veins into this little cave. As you exit the short cave to the right, you'll see some ladders. Follow these down and keep following along the path that the ladders lead you through. And at the end of the path, you'll find the next tech site. For the final tech site, it's actually easy to go again from the current one we are at. So leaving from the Ice Worm module site, we're going to follow up the ladders and back around. And as you pass the last ladder, you have a choice. If you go left, you'll go back through the way you came. If you go to the right and come around the curve, you will see ahead of you some ladders and some light sticks. Head up the ladders and around the path by the light sticks, and inside you're going to find a big tech site, both for Altera and Architect. Head past the teleporter, and through the breach in the wall, you'll find some of the Altera equipment, as well as finding an Architect elevator that leads you down to even more Altera equipment, as well as a small dock. And if you jump into the water by the dock and follow it all the way through this underwater path until you reach the end, you will then find a large ice wall that actually can be cut through by the laser cutter, making it a shortcut to get back here. Or, you know, you can always just activate the teleporter and it will link to the teleporter right next to Phi Robotics Base. So those are all of the Altera tech sites. These are the smaller sites where you find things like the PDAs and, you know, cargo crates and things like that to help you in your journey through the game. However, before we go, I'm going to mention two special locations because while these are not technically tech sites, I feel like if I don't mention them, somebody's going to say in a comment that I missed them. 
First up is the area outside the copper mining site. There are a lot of decorative crates outside of it, but you won't find any significant PDAs or special unlocks outside this area. And technically the copper mining site is not even marked as a base on the wiki. So it just really got cheated, I would say. Now, the other place I want to mention is not really a tech site because there's not any structure to it. However, it does have a data box and there are a bunch of scans, but it's really more of a trash dump or maybe, you know, uh, wreckage from something being destroyed, like say a sea truck. Anyway, you can find this in the purple vents area. And it is again, just a site with a bunch of scattered tech right next to a large little cone area. And well, that's it. That is all of the Altera tech sites in the game. If you're looking for the bases, I already have a video for that you can check out. And of course, if you're looking for the architect bases, I have a video for that as well. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed it, hit that like button and go check out one of the other videos.